Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel, right? There have been a couple of champions that I have ranked up as 6 stars to rank 2 um, or otherwise to different ranks, but I haven't yet made videos about I wasn't doing too well over the last week or so, I was a bit busy and uh, had some things to deal with but anyhow, it's about time I address them and those rank ups and why I did so and the first champion that I want to showcase today uh, is Ultron. Now, this is a rank 2 6-star Ultron synergized up with all sorts of juicy synergies, including Modok, Hulkbuster, Mr. Sinister in order to power lock the opponents, and uh, then also Warlock in order to gain that initial 60% fury there. But we're going to see how quickly he disposes of this Winter Soldier. This fight is actually going to be... 60 seconds so rank 2 6 r ultron does this winter soldier fight in like one minute <laughs> that is quite crazy now there are several types how you can uh use ultron you can drop your heavy attack before dropping a special attack in order to gain a bigger fury and bigger attack increase or you can actually do it other way around and you can drop your heavy attack after you have used the special attack whilst your uh, passive fury is still active and that will also buff the potency of your Furies. You can see that here they are ticking for 7,000. You can see that it was ticking for 7,000 here at the end. So those are some extremely, extremely juicy bleeds right there. That's uh, one of the better bleed damage champions, actually. And that was 56 hits. It was 56 hits. Now it did the fight again with a slightly different rotation here and it is going to be slightly longer and this is going to be the quote-unquote more traditional rotation where people like to drop the heavy attack and then do the level two so i personally have found that it is actually in most cases uh, more beneficial just to be aggressive how like i don't know four or five whatever bleeds on the opponent uh, drop your level two and then drop your heavy attack in order to access that uh, huge huge bleed damage but nonetheless, there isn't a huge difference, so whichever way you find it more comfortable, I suppose, to play Ultron, uh, that will work just fine. We, can, we could see some uh, definitely quite decent numbers around there. So I am just trying to remain uh, aggressive. I do want to drop my heavy attack before I drop my level 2. And uh, in either way, we can see that we are doing plenty of damage here. We had like 10 bleeds, I think. That's a nice... Um, amount of uh, crit damage here on the level 2 and here I'm gonna go for another level 1 and I have like 11k medium crit why not I think I have gotten up to like 16k medium crit at some point oh no those are 11k light crits jeepers that is a yeah 18k medium crit why not it's absolutely beautiful now this took a bit longer and this was like 68 hits but still again you can choose however you approach this fight now this is going to be 7.1 with bleed vulnerability and there is poison node so this poison node is actually going to be very helpful for me as well due to warlock synergy and uh, will give me an active fury buff every seven seconds when poison tries to apply now there is the energy adoption fire however as soon as i get my first bleed on the opponent you can switch off the energy adoption fire therefore it's not the biggest deal not to mention, should your Ultron be awakened, he would shrug off those incinerates quicker anyhow. But let's just enjoy the carnage and let's just enjoy the great numbers. So I'm not going to do anything too special there. I'm just going to drop a couple of heavy attacks, bait out the level 1, drop like a combo, and uh, then we're going to go in for some noise damage. <laughs> some couple of 21k crits. Absolutely beautiful. 28k 32k heavy attack obviously in this fight the damage numbers are enhanced quite significantly by the bleed vulnerability but nonetheless that was a 300k something fight that didn't last any time at all <laughs> that uh, he absolutely nuked down so here i need to be a bit careful again and start against the invisible woman we can go in again as soon as we get that bleed active how oh, not nothing to worry about from that energy adoption node and uh she uses special attacks so i mean she's power locked i can be superbly aggressive here at this point let's just go get try and get in a nice big level two why not why not 
and uh, show off the numbers. Ultron is definitely one of those champions that I really look forward to taking to rank 3 once I do for my next tech catalyst. But let's just see. Uh, well, this fight's actually pretty much over. We don't have much else to see. Right, I will showcase also Ultron without uh, synergies and mention that towards the end of the video. But uh, we have one more fight on this lane and then I'm gonna jump to tech variant, which is gonna be even uh, more impressive. But uh, right, so now we have to deal with Vulture. Obviously the fact that Ultron has double region available to him on his kit is also extremely amazing. And uh, I love that he's a very sustainable champion that I don't even feel bad for having to take all the recall damage like you typically do with robot champions that uh, being double immune is awesome. But when you use Warlock, when you use Sentinel, when you use uh, you know, Dragon Man, even though bleed and poison damage is nothing for you to worry about, still at the same time you do not feel all that great when all that recall damage adds up. But with Ultron that's uh, not really that big of a deal. <laughs> Nice, 38k level 1, why not, right, absolutely wonderful. Right, let's jump, so this is variant 3, the tech variant. And this is a random lane, but here we're gonna, I changed up my team slightly, just because I wanted to include all tech champions. Showcase additional benefit that he can have all throughout tech variant and some of the lanes in uh, villain variant as well, I believe, yes. Uh, where you get 10% debuff duration increase for every tech champion on your team. And that, in fact, results in a very interesting ability for Ultron, where you can just run through every single opponent, because you see your stun duration is significantly increased. That means you can pretty much get in a full combo and then start a second combo and, uh, well, drop another level one. And that is one of the coolest things with tech champions who have guaranteed stuns on level 1. Like, initially, this was known as Stark Enhanced Spider-Man Cheese. Uh, he does it slightly better, because he, if you do run out of power, you can still just drop a heavy attack and power drain the opponents. But now we also have Hulkbuster and a couple of other champions, including Ultron, that can do these super long level 1 stun loops. And that is exactly what is meant to be showcased in this fight. Actually, it would have been helpful if my Ultron wouldn't be as uh, powerful. Actually, I should have probably brought in my rank 4 because he would gain power quicker. But here we can see that you can get in like a solid 4-5 hit combo and start another combo and drop another level 1. So de facto, you can use Ultron to pretty much cheese a whole bunch of tech variant and also some of the fights uh, outside of tech variant because uh, we had these nodes come back for some of the uh, newer variants either variant 6 or 7 obviously you can't use him in variant 7 but i think these nodes are present in variant 6 as well i think i'm gonna mess up a bit in uh, this uh, neymar fight but it still <laughs> will not last too long at all and uh, yeah, so I'm going to go for my level 1. I think I'm going to get a bit too greedy. I rushed in a bit too slow. And we can see that I tried to go for full combo. And I didn't quite uh, connect the next start of the next one. But still, the fight is uh, pretty much over at this point. Right, so I can quickly fast forward. What is this next fight? Blade. Awesome. No problem. Uh, easy peasy. Uh, this... Uh, X-23. X-23 has vigorous assault. This is also going to be quite quick. We're also going to do the boss fight. So she has enhanced abilities, aggressive and vigorous assault. She has like 136k health pool or whatever. And we're just going to bring out, bring in our little tiny casual Ultron, right? So let's see what happens. Um, so we start with one combo. We didn't trigger regen. Perfect. It means I can push her to her level one. At this point, she's regenerating. Absolutely no problem. Or she drops another level one. And look at that. <laughs> look at that. She's already halfway down. So here I drop level one that possibly heal blocks her. Drop a heavy attack and another few hits. And uh, yeah, the fight is over. And also the boss fight. So now the boss fight. We have Berserker Barrage, basically he gains uh, Fury buffs whenever he's regenerating, sure, why not? Vigorous Assault, Recovery, Aggressive and Mighty Charge. So if he dashes in at me, uh, he's actually going to be able to shrug off. Uh, he's actually going to be able to shrug off 
all of the degens that I'm going to place on him. That should be quite fine. It shouldn't be the biggest of problems, biggest of deals. So let's see what is how this fight is going to go. So triggers the weight function. Wonderful. 10 hits. He's already like 15% down. <laughs> Excellent. Rebian. So here he shrugged everything off. So perfect. We're just going to go for level one. And here I'm going to drop a heavy attack and I have enough time to drop another one. I actually could have done went in for a full combo, but whatever. Nine degens, he's ticking away like a crazy person. And now I have another huge attack increase and the fight is over. So this is a variant boss. A variant boss done by a rank two Ultron in like 39 hits. Here is the last bit though, because I did also want to showcase how Ultron does without any synergies. And quite obviously the main synergy for Ultron is the one that he has with Hulkbuster or Visions that uh, let him extend his fury out of special one as well for seven seconds, basically. And also gives him passive kill block whilst it's active. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, that is a very significant help for his damage output. And uh, he does not do as much damage unsynergized up. That synergy alone basically gives him pretty much like a 35 to 40% damage increase, which you're going to see in a moment as this fight goes. So here, I basically need to avoid dropping any level ones because level ones do not help my position much, if at all. So the plan is for these fights just to do level twos. I'm not going to bother building up level three, we're just going to do level twos. But uh, we also need to kind of be very careful to try and capitalize as much as I can from those Furies. And uh, still, the damage output definitely is very good still. It's not as amazing, but it's still very solid damage output for a champion that combines as much utility as he does with his guaranteed armor ups, guaranteed stuns, uh, easy, powerful access to bleed and uh, everything else. So at this point, I should be trying to drop a heavy attack, if I remember correctly. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to mess that up. But uh, we're... yes, there we go. Heavy attack. Let's go for another one. We have nine bleeds. He's ticking still for a very solid amount of damage. I'm going to go in for a level two here whilst he has nine bleeds active. You can see that I still do definitely a decent amount of damage, but it is taking longer. It is taking more hits because I have to build up to level two every single time. I cannot drop level ones anymore. And uh, yeah, I did make a slight mistake somewhere towards the end, but uh, the fight is over here with a nice level one crit and the fight lasted 98 hits. So that is uh, the difference. The first fight I got down in 56 hits, then it was 60 something hits. We can actually quickly rewind. And uh, yeah, and without synergy, it was 98 hits. So we can see that there is quite big discrepancy, but that is the case for a ton of champions. So we have 56 hits, first fight, second fight. Sixty eight hits and then we had 96 hits. Nonetheless. <laughs> you guys caught me watching Vega. Uh, nonetheless, I do think that Ultron is an amazing champion. And I do see myself taking the rank three. And I do see this champion in particular having an impact on the game because I do think he's extremely straightforward to play. I do think that uh, he fits exactly the needs that made him popular in the first place, which would be, let's say, Alliance Quest or Questing with his double immunities and ability to regenerate, therefore fairly sustainable. And uh, I can't wait to see how well exactly he does in this game in the upcoming month, because I will definitely be keeping a close eye on him. Let me know what you guys think about Ultron. But uh, with that, the video is pretty much over. So hit all the good buttons, uh, the like buttons, the share button, share the video with your alliance and friends, and all that other good stuff. I'll see you guys soon. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about